Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another Pro 1v1 match. Today we're back on Canyon Frost. And down in the south, I believe we are, we have Fargo with the USA Air Force in the blue. All the way in top right, we have Excal with the Gile Vanilla in the purple color. So Fargo definitely here with a uh, stronger army. This replay is probably a couple of months old now at least. But yeah, with USA Air Force, definitely the stronger army. Uh, what I like here from Fargo is actually a lot of people will actually make uh, two Rebels or two Rangers or two Red Guard or whatever and actually will send it all the way over there to the other oil. But actually what I've seen Fargo do a few times is actually just go for one and go for this safe one down here on, uh, on Canyon Frost. We've seen him do it um, what, in GLA against uh, Big Size when he played the inf. Nice combat drop. Oh, I thought it was in the oil then. Um, yeah, we've seen him do it various other times. So, yeah, uh, it's it's quicker as well because um, your capture upgrade will complete quicker because you're not building that second Ranger. We're talking minimally, but, uh, yeah, if Fargo gets that, it's a massive eco boost. Uh, but Excal has also played it quite greedy. He's gone for three... Uh, three supplies, but he's currently getting all of his workers crushed here. Tech RPG comes in and it starts to kill the Dozer. Dozer does get one RPG. And Excal will now, his heart will sink a little bit when he realizes actually Fargo's got the oil down here. If he can build a tunnel and start hitting that straight away or capture it for himself, that will be all well and good. There's actually a drop coming through for Fargo. I guess that's going to be a V. Quad Cannon is already out now for Excal. Oh, oh, you don't want to be on your last dozer exposed in your main base against Excal, that is for sure. And Excal will be uh, will be kicking himself over that. That was a prime target to... Uh, yeah, that, if that was a Boyka level TNT, where the terrorists actually force fire the technical, Then that, that dozer would have gone down. That's a, that's a trick that Boyker actually uses. He force fires his own, his own unit, his own technical. Because the technical is going to go down anyway. But yeah, force fire the technical is the quickest way to get him to detonate. That would have hit. So yeah, Fargo playing very, very well so far. He's grabbed himself an oil. He killed a load of workers with a dozer drop. He's dropped off a full V. Hit some workers. Killed some quads. Yeah, Fargo doing exceptionally well. Exile maybe let it slip a little bit there. Because he could have potentially killed the oil. Sorry, killed the power. And the dozer, and that might have been a game ender. It just shows you on these high-level games the tiny little details make all of the difference. Oh, Fargo keeps that alive. You see again the tiny little details. Because that makes this so much harder to clear up now. Because you're going to get a V that's going to be back on full health. And it can micro it against these quads. This is a bit of a mis mistake here, though, from Fargo. I don't know quite what that MD is doing there. Wasn't paying attention for a sec, but he's actually grabbing himself another oil. Fargo is playing insane, to be fair. He is playing insane. Multitasking all over the place. Keeping up the aggression whilst also grabbing himself a second oil. Yeah, Fargo is really, really playing nicely. Needs to build that fire base in his base, though. That oil finally goes down, but Fargo's grabbed himself another one, so now <laughs> Excal's got to worry about that one too. But yeah, Fargo's just on point, man. He's killing these workers once again. See what I mean? The little details. That V surviving is now keeping Excal busy here again. Excal's now expanded to another supply, so he's now on, what, four supplies? He's bringing a rebel of his own over here. But now that's, that's Garrison. That's going to make it even more problematic for Excal to do anything. And these Vs now can just get fully repaired, go, go across the map, and actually might end the game despite Excal's decent economic position. Probably needs a few more tunnels in his base, a few more RPGs out to hold against this. CC now being built by Fargo. Yeah, so it's all going to come down mainly to this attack. If, if Excal can shut down that attack without taking much damage, which is going to be a tough ask. Then I think the advantage lies with him, but it, yeah, it all comes comes down to this attack. Fargo's V Micro is usually very, very good. One of the supplies here for Excal is already getting hit. TNT being prepared now by Excal. Workers 
Going to be picked off too. There is one tunnel here, but that's going to be cleared too. Fourth supply has to be sold. Excal going in for what looks to be like a counter-attack. That's a TNT, I'm going to guess. But the CC is now up, so there's not going to be any dozer hunt anymore. Drops off a terrorist. No reaction there from Fargo at all. Firebase is going to get hit. Excal's base is going to get hit. The firebase going down, though, doesn't, doesn't enable these quads and RPGs to come in and actually deal some damage. But you're still in the base race against these. And you're not going to be able to kill all these buildings probably as fast as these Vs are going to be able to clear your entire base. Excal is dropping down some more tunnels. He's re-establishing this supply coming in. Closing down the barracks. These Vs are at risk of going down. Shnook's taking a little bit of damage. RPG's now in the base as well. Fargo continues the push, taking down another tunnel. Because they're built kind of in a line like this. Fargo can keep coming from this side and keep hitting the tunnels. A lot of RPG's popped. One V there might get picked off. This is edge if you see stuff, man. I don't know who's going to win. Has Fargo even got another dozer? Yeah, he's escaped with the dozer. Excal might think he's hunted now. I don't know if he... Oh, no, he does know about it because he's got a, a terrorist locked on it. The, the V's nearly ran into it. Uh, I honestly don't know how Excal is doing this. <laughs> Fargo's been playing out of his mind. Fargo's now building a... Uh, power. And that's his last building because that's going to get killed. Veteran C going on these quads. Fargo coming back to his base. Going to try and clear this up. Excal does not have an arms dealer. So these quads are going to be very, very time consuming to replace them. Especially with the veteran C. Like, he's a strong quad you ideally don't want to be losing. But he doesn't really have much of a choice. So Fargo's re-established the supply. Picks up his dozer. And now... Yeah, Excal looks behind again now. <laughs> Because just, he just doesn't have the units. Uh, needs to get that dozer. Needs to kill it. And then needs to kill the last few buildings. He hasn't got the means of fighting that V army right now, I don't think. <coughs> There's a lot of RPGs here. Might be able to pick off one V, but ultimately he's still going to lose all this stuff. Oh, the Chinooks get brought in to deflect all the missiles. Now he needs to just retreat. Get everything back. Arms dealer going up for Excal. He's also establishing another supply here. CC being built inside of Fargo's base. Uh, yeah, that was a really nice attempt at a base raid there from Excal, but it really is reliant on getting that last dozer. He just he had a moment of time to get the last dozer, but I don't think he had any technical or anything to kill it. Once that CC is re-established, he's going to have Spectre Gunship, A10, Pathfinders, whatever he wants. And that's going to be used to clear Excal's building. So Excal building a barracks down in the bottom right. Uh, I still would probably like the barracks in the in the main base of Excal so we can load up the TNTs easier. Uh, where is that technical going? Fargo's going to clear this position. Spectre gunship comes in, hit in the supply. Fargo still has that oil. Excal's just completely forgotten about it. Tech RPG is probably looking for the last dose. He's going to see the CC though, and this is going to—he's going to throw in a towel because he knows he's fully re-established. Those gets picked off. Is he going to go and try and kill that one before the war factory gets up? Too late now, probably. Tries to pull it. I think he should just let that finish. I think Fargo trying to do a little bit too much sometimes. He should just let that finish. Because then you can start making Vs again. He's got the money for it as well, but now he's not. Now he lost his dozer anyway and not finished the war factory. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, he's going to lose his. He lost one RPG. A10 is coming through. Technical gets picked off. Supply trying to be re established. But Excal currently doesn't really have anything. A10 misses the target. He must have started building there something earlier. Um, yeah, Excal's got no chance here. Yeah, GG. That was an edgy seat thing, though. A edgy seat game because uh, it looked kind of one-sided. Like Fargo was just clearing up. He's just too fast, doing too much, taking the oils. Got both of the oils, and even that top one was alive for ages. But Excal tried to amount a comeback, tried to go for a TNT in the base, killed the fire base, killed the dozer and a V. Did he kill the V as well with the TNT? I think he did. And then came in with the quads and was forcing Fargo to sell everything or, or lose everything. And escaped only with a dozer and a power. 
but Fargo managed to hold in there. It just shows you like, people say you don't want to base trade a GLA, but the truth is actually you don't want to base trade a USA because the USA Vs, you can still never fight fight them in a head-on engagement. And if you do a if you do a base trade against the USA, all the Vs will get veterancy and they just become even stronger. So when they come at you the next time, they're going to be even stronger. And by that time, you're probably not going to be on a palace unless you've taken over so much of the map. Uh, but yeah, Fargo is playing good over the last few months. So I mean, he's taking a break over the last few weeks, but this is probably like two or three months old. But yeah, he's, uh, he's definitely fast and creative and yeah, looking very, very on form when he's, when he's spamming a lot. And I, and I like the fact that he's made that one Ranger and just went really quickly for that bottom right oil because who knows if you went for two oils Excal maybe would have seen the other ranger maybe stopped the bottom right one or maybe the capture upgrade would have come in a little bit too late or yeah i don't know yeah that was really nice from fargo really really nice take notes <laughs> gg well played let me know what you thought in the comments see you in the next one